Hey guys, this is the second part of the tutorial. In this first tutorial, I was trying to, I was just basically explaining to you what this application does. Basically, I went through the UI part and I fill in all the data that was needed to submit for the job posting. And then when I do a submit button, so basically, you know, this is where this is where I come in. So um, I'll talk about this code in detail later when I talk about. Uh, but uh, there is not much work in, in the server side right now it's trying to persist this data okay go ahead and persist this everything is good you know just return this one okay it's so, uh, all is done of course you know like this is like I told you it's my working project so um, Next thing I will be doing once the submission is done successfully, well, this time it is successfully done. I will have little, I will have clear all this data, and I will have this button um, clear all the data, and I will have little pop up messages here. You, you know, job post is submitted successfully. Right now there is no feedback to the user. Okay, that's the next. That's the next thing I will be working on. Okay, now having said that, now let's go. Let's go. Let's go ahead and look at into into the code, how to do stuff like this in AngularJS. All right, awesome. So, um, you know the even though I'm I'm using the ASP.NET MVC proxy, but I'm not really using my views or any, I, I have just plain I have a folder here called job details. In here, I have a bunch of um, JavaScript. I have this. I have a. Um, object I have a HTML file called job details 3.html it is a 3 because you know it took me it, it because I ha it started with the job details and it's an each iteration kind of trying to make it better and better at the same time I didn't like to uh, lose the code that I wrote that's why I said okay this is job details 3 it's a job, job details 3 HTML code and then of corresponding to that I have a JavaScript of course, you know the JavaScript contains all the um, Angular JS related controller, the module, the, the the services, all those kind of stuff. Okay. The whenever you write this form, that my it's a good idea, a good practice to always okay. I'm in the before even I go into writing the code. Uh, this I'm assuming you know your at least. Some, somewhat familiar with the angular js and stuff like that in you know if not I'll, I'll briefly explain some of the basic concepts about uh, how to create a module and the controller and services all this kind of stuff and some dependency injection okay um, I'm gonna go ahead and open this one close all but this and then I'm gonna um, just the HTML these are the main main files and of course I, I have some directives that I for example did picker and then my uh, ultimate goal is to I would like to have this one as a as a Wiji editor so basically I'll be using tiny MCE I'm looking for some plugin for tiny MCE plugin that is out there in the web and try to integrate so as a as a as a um, angular directive rather than using you know just JavaScript so that I can use it anywhere I want to okay anyway so um, in the heading section because I need I'm using jQuery the reason I need this jQuery is because I'm using jQuery UI the this this uh, start this one this uh, jQuery UI did picker but I'm not really using, you know, generally when we use the jQuery, any, any text box that you would like to use a date picker, you basically grab the ID of that text box and basically call date picker, right? But uh, it's not really good practice in AngularJS to do that way because, you know, um, Angular, the really cool thing about AngularJS is your model basically drives the whole UI. Um, you're not really dealing with the UI that much, basically the model is the whole driving force in AngularJS which is very neat because you know um, that means you can you know you can do a lot of huge amount of validation whatever you don't have to worry so much about um, like in, in jQuery 
I'm, I have nothing against jQuery. I use it very, very extensively. It's really, really cool. Imagine, like, you know, without jQuery, the life would be so much difficult. But at the same time, you know, every, every this new technology has their place. Anyway, uh, after having said that, and of course, you know, all this layout is, uh, this, all this layout is done using the bootstrap. So basically, bootstrap grid, um, the cool thing about this one is like, let's say, <laughs> um, see this one, if even if it's, it's, it's a responsive design. So basically all the widget as I, as I make it smaller, it automatically collapses and expand because, but there is a, for example, look at this text box auto automatically shrinks and it's, and this button basically comes out as a, as a, as a vertical rather than horizontal, and so this is kind of cool. That's what the you know Bootstrap provides to us. So this is kind of like a phone view. You know, maybe this is maybe your uh, you know a tablet view or a iPad view or whatever. And then when you do this, is your you know it's whole desktop view. Of course, still there's a lot of improvement needs to be done for this application, but at least you know better better than you know not having responsive design, and all these things Bootstrap automatically provides for us. Okay, anyway, so this even be okay. This is how I have a form here called Job Details form, and I give an ID to this one too, and this is the the whole thing is reside inside this container. So basically, I have this deep tag. So basically, everything here is inside that container. This the container is a Bootstrap class, and then you know I set some. This gives some background color and some padding here, so that it there is a padding of five percent everywhere. Okay, everything starts from right here, and this is what this one is saying. Ng app is my module name. This is the app that. So basically, this ng app is saying anything inside this div right here will have a, a, a direct control by the AngularJ with with AngularJS. And of course, then you know in in, in AngularJS, I need to specify my controller. In this case, uh, I'll show you later in my JavaScript code here. I have a controller called Job Details Controller. So here, so. The first thing here on line number two, I define the module. This is, the idea about a module is so that you know my code would be inside that module, kind of like a namespace. If you come from you know C sharp or, Java or maybe Java background and stuff like that, so your code would be very modular, would be in one place, and easy to maintain and stuff like that. And inside now, once I my module is defined, now I'm gonna go ahead and create a controller here. To create a controller you always specify the name of the controller job details controller 3 here as you can see this is this controller right here and then once I have an, and then this is this funny looking syntax right here is inside the, the, the array or square bracket I specify some dependency here the, I have a scope this is uh, anything, any object that is inside the scope will be automatically binded to 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 my uh, view. Okay, that's scope is very very important concept. And then this one right here, job job detail validation repository. This is my uh, factory. I will tell you later what the factory is. And so basically, um, and there I have a two factory here. One is to persist the data to the server. And the other one, this one, is to validate the data. And then, once I, once a literal is defined, then these are all my dependency. I have to um, I have to specify it here. So these are actual my repository. I will show you which this code is down there. So that the one of the main reason the the AngularJS getting momentum is because. This is really, I mean, like, I, I, I've been writing server-side code in my, you know, like, for so many years. Dependency injection is really, really cool concept, and we use in the server-side code using a lot of uh, containers. Uh, they call IOC container, like, 
uh, ninjad or springdotnet or whatever you know people everybody has their preferences but